What's going on everybody? My name's Reiner 2 d and it's time for another tier list! That's where the air horns come in. Bow, 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 bow. Anyways, guys, we're going to be doing another tier list because you guys wanted to. The last tier list video we made almost got 25 thousand likes when we only had a 15k like goal guys that was insane so today we're gonna be doing a tier list on map difficulties now i know maps are kind of put into their own difficulties and categories but i'm going to be putting them into my own because some maps are easier than others and some are just super duper difficult i want to be talking about why i think the maps are particularly easy or difficult certain strategies that you can use on them and just the works guys if you want to see more tier lists for balloons tower defense hit that like button if we get another fifteen thousand likes it'll tell me you guys want another tier list i don't know what I can make a tier list on. Maybe I'll make a tier list on Balloon C6 tier list. I, I don't know. We'll figure it out, guys. <laughs> Peninsula is a pretty difficult map, mainly because there's not a lot of places to put towers, but you have a lot of water. And right, and the thing with water is, well, you get water towers, and water towers are like the most insane, especially with new Admiral Brickle, who is just an insane hero. I'm going to put it in hard mainly because it's not like insanely difficult but it does prove quite a challenge it doesn't allow you to use normal conventional means of winning balloons games you need to kind of just come up with your own strategies in order to win on it dora's temple the thing with the dora's temple is it's not like difficult it's just honestly tedious to play on Adora's temple right like it's fun but at the same time like I have to put them in certain spots balloons come from all certain spots I mean I'm probably gonna put it just for like normal difficulty it's not by any means hard but it's not easy it's just really annoying sometimes ah yes I don't know the name of this map but it's like the alpine run or like skating or ice skating or skiing or ski lounge or something like that it's going in easy it's it's one of the easiest maps in the game the reason it's one of the easiest maps in the game is it has these long straight narrow lines right which is great for crossbow masters juggernauts anyone that has a lot of pierce damage having long straight lines is great for just absolutely destroying rushes and balloons so the fact that you have that and it's just one long line that they have to go through makes it an incredibly easy map another brick is an advanced map which proves to be pretty difficult sometimes you can sell the bricks on the left side of it in order to make up more room but the problem is you have this big brick wall so you need to put towers there that can shoot through walls such as the wizard or you need to put things that can shoot over walls such as mortars helicopters and monkey aces I mean it's not like incredible difficult but out of the maps it's probably in difficult right like it's probably one of the easier difficult maps but it's still relatively difficult mainly because you don't have a lot of room to work with you don't have a lot of water and you got to be pretty careful with how you place your towers next up is one of the newer maps bizarre bizarre is pretty fun the the map is pretty bizarre <laughs> you technically have two different tracks and every round the balloons alternate which track they come out on either the top one or the bottom one so it is a little bit difficult because you have to manage two different tracks but the tracks line up and they both have to go across the bridge so if you manage your resources and you place towers in the right spot you'll have no problem that's why it's going to be going in the normal difficulty oh dear goodness bloody puddles the map notoriously known for being one of if not the hardest map in Balloons TD6. This map contains not one, not two, not three, not four, but five separate tracks. Not lasting very long, by the way, that all balloons will be coming down. In order to beat this on chimps, you need precise timing and if I'm not mistaken, a very, very specific strategy in order to beat this map. It is known among the balloons community as being one of the most difficult balloons chimp maps to beat. And that's why it's going in the insane category. Candy Falls, the Willy Wonka inspired map. For those of you that didn't know, there's actually hidden Oompa Loompa monkeys that are scattered around the map. And if you click on them in the right order, you'll unlock a special achievement. There's nothing particularly exciting about this map. It's just a long, windy area with plenty of space to put down monkeys, towers, and water towers at the same time. Therefore, it's going in the easy category. Coming up next in the advanced tab of the maps is Cargo. 
Cargo is one of those very busy and frantic maps. There's a lot going on. There's a lot of things that are just distracting you and kind of just in the way. And it's pretty obnoxious to deal with, but once you get the hang of it, it's not all that difficult. And because of that, it's going to be going into the hard category. Carved is a very easy map to play on. It's a little dark and spooky if you ask me, but it has a very long runtime. The balloons start at the top and have to go all the way around through the mouth of the pumpkin all the way back out and around. With having a map this big, it allows for lots of different potential strategies and ways to beat it, making it one of the easier maps in the game. So, I'm gonna put it in the easy category. In the intermediate category, we have Shoots, a map that is relatively straightforward. You seem to be in an ancient temple that has all these monkey statues and vines and two different well, shoots that the balloons are able to go down through. But they do have a point where they cross intersections, so if you place all your towers there, you can have no problem whatsoever. But it's still not as easy as some of the other towers, so it's gonna go into the normal category. In the advanced map tab, we have Cornfield. Cornfield is a relatively long map with a lot of places to put down towers and monkeys. One of the problems, it doesn't have any water. Oh. I forgot to mention, you have to BUY all the land you want to place monkeys on. So, while the map itself is relatively easy, it comes at a price. In order to be able to put down lots of towers, you need to be able to make room. I really enjoy this map. The fact that you have to spend all this money to be able to open it up just adds a different strategy and just makes it much more involved and fun. But, it's still a relatively difficult map, therefore we're gonna put it in hard. On the intermediate tab, we have Cracked. At first glance, it seems like quite a terrifying desert, but if you're able to open up the rock in the middle, it'll actually provide a source of water for you to put down water temples. Honestly, I don't know why they have it in intermediate. I kind of personally see it more as an easy map. I mean, it's a super long, windy map. And so, because of that, it's definitely going to be going into the easy category. Coming up next, Cubism. Cubism is by far, in my mind, the easiest map in the game. It provides no obstacles whatsoever, the second longest map in the game, second to logs of course, and it provides water towers and it's just overall a fun map to play on. It's my favorite map for making videos on just because it allows me to put down towers wherever I want and try out a bunch of interesting and cool strategies without having to worry of just losing and embarrassing myself. So it's definitely going into the easiest possible category and like literally it's just the easiest map to play on well after we got that super easy map we're coming up on dark castle dark castle is an expert map that honestly is probably my favorite expert map you're trying to defend your castle from the balloons they come out of the forest in four separate areas and they all meet up in one big road going across the drawbridge you can put snipers up on top of the castle to shoot down at it you can also cut down the trees because if you don't cut down the trees well the balloons can kind of just sneak up on you so by cutting down the trees it'll open up the map for you to put down more towers and more time and opportunity to pop the balloons it's a relatively difficult map but it's definitely not the hardest for sure it's definitely gonna go up in the difficult downstream is one of the nicest looking maps in the game it features two roundabout areas where the balloons have to cross over a river twice the two spots that are in the middle of the roundabouts can actually be hollowed out to be able to put down towers in my mind it's one of the best looking maps in the game I just really love the aesthetic appeal of it it's not all that entirely difficult but it can give you some problems because there's not a lot of places to put down normal towers and strategies because of that I'll probably put it in normal difficult End of the road is a very unique and fun map. Basically, the balloons have to go to the end of the road and then, well, come back. It features one little pool in the middle of the desert that allows you to put down water-based towers. And the great thing about this map is the fact that your towers basically are twice as strong, mainly because the balloons have to go past it one time and then they have to go right back through it again. Therefore, making it a very easy and fun map in general. And it also gives you just plenty of space on the map to put down whatever you want. Therefore, it's going in the easy category. Ah, uh, yes firing range we know this map very well this is the map i use all of my god boosting strategies on mainly because of its unique strategy where you have two separate areas where the balloons will come through and they kind of crisscross and basically you can't put monkeys on or near the track so you have to get a lot of long range towers such as helicopters snipers mortars monkey aces and just a whole lot of military towers huh i guess that's why they took the military theme for this map 
Either way, it's not entirely easy, but with the right strategy, you'll completely crush it. Therefore, it goes in the normal difficulty. Flooded Valley, the newest addition to the expert map family tree. On the left side, it features the ground floor, with a couple of pillars to be able to put snipers and long range towers on. On the right side, it features a giant lake where you can put down as many water towers as you could possibly dream of. The problem with this map is, well, balloons come from the top and bottom side, making it a little bit difficult. However, there's a secret. There's a hidden panel in the middle of the spot. And if you click in these special buttons and click that, it'll actually flood the valley so you can put water towers on both sides. Don't tell anyone though. It's still a relatively difficult map. It's not insane. It just goes into the difficult tab. Four Circles is a pretty straightforward map that features a timer and spaced off of a racetrack. The balloons will come down and just go all the way around the circles. With the right strategy, you'll be good to go in no time. It's not particularly easy, but I'd put it in the normal tab. Frozen Over is a pretty fun ice-based map where the balloons go all over the place. It's considered an easy map. There's also a fun Easter egg where you can break out the cave monkey by putting a mortar tower on top of the ice for a little bit of time, getting you an extra monkey to fight with you. It goes into the easy category. Geared, in my mind, is a relatively difficult map. It features one giant cogwheel where you can put your monkeys on, and every round the wheel spins, and it just spins around and around and around, and it makes all your monkeys dizzy. Well, it certainly makes me dizzy. It goes into the difficult tab. Oh no, guys, the next map is pretty spooky. It's haunted. The map where balloons will come from the left and the right side. It features two haunted trees on the left and right side of the staircase that you can remove and put towers down. There's also a little bit of water in the middle where you can put down water-based towers. It's a pretty fun map, but it's not particularly difficult. It goes into the normal category. Hedge is a pretty fun map. The idea with it is the balloons have to go through this hedge mage, which just provides a giant wall that you can't really shoot through. So you either need to base your strategy right in the beginning where there's no hedges, or you need to get something like a helicopter or a mortar or something that can shoot through all of the hedges. Because of this, it's probably going to just go into the normal difficulty. High Finance is an expert map where balloons will come from two different locations and take two different streets. The problem with this map is there's not a lot of place to put your monkeys. The thing is though, you can pay monkeys to upgrade the buildings so that you can place monkeys on top of all the skyscrapers. It costs a lot of money to upgrade all of the buildings, but once you do, it gives you a lot of room to put down a whole bunch of monkeys. But in the very beginning, it's pretty stressful because you don't have a lot of money to spend. You need to be spending it on, well, the monkeys and towers to make sure you don't lose. But it still provides a fun challenge. Therefore, it's going to go into the hard difficulty. Inferno is an absolutely nutty map. Before the 20.0 update, the only possible way to beat this map on chimps was to use Quincy in the beginning in a very, very specific strategy. And, well, it made it a very difficult map. To this day, it's still one of the most difficult maps to beat on chimps and overall a crazy difficult map. It's still incredibly fun and very satisfying once you're able to beat it, though. But it's still going into the insane category. In the Loop is just a fun, straightforward, autumn-based map where you have long, straight lines and little loop-de-loops and water. What more could you ask for for an easy-based map? With certain strategies such as the Juggernaut, Crossbow Master, or even if you use Churchill, he will shred balloons in these long, straight lines. It is a very fun and easy map, and I would recommend you guys give it a try. Carts and Darts is a fun map where the balloons have to enter and race around one whole time before they exit the map. You can sell the hay bales that are in the middle to provide for more areas for you to place down monkeys. Other than that, not a whole lot to talk about, but it's still a very easy map. It goes into the easy category. Logs is the longest map in the game, taking a red balloon 54 seconds to reach from the top to the end. It features one square in the middle with water that allows you to put down your water towers, as well as logs that the balloons can duck in and out of. But it's a very easy and straightforward map. So, it goes into the easy. Monkey Meadow, guys. This is just the bread and butter of Balloons maps. It's the simplest, most straightforward map in the game. I mean, it's literally the first map you see when you open up the easy category. Therefore, guys, it's going to go into the insane difficulties. I'm just kidding. It goes into easy. Stop writing your hate comments, okay? You're probably going to still write them anyways, but you can stop now. Moon Landing is a pretty unique map. The balloons will enter through and enter the three different craters, where they'll go around the craters three times before going to the next crater. This map, well, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna spoil anything, guys, on how to beat it. Mortars. Lots and lots of mortars, guys. As many mortars as you can get. 
Just, just blow those balloons to bits, guys. Come on. However, though, since it requires such a precise strategy, it's going to go into the normal difficulty. Muddy Puddles isn't as crazy as Bloody Puddles, but it is still an absolute disaster of a map if you're trying to play on it, guys. It is unforgiving, relentless, and just overall terrible experience. It goes into the insane difficulty. Off the Coast is a fun map that features half water and half land, where the balloons will start on the water, enter the land, go all the way around, and then exit on the water. It also features a sunken ship that allows you to put down certain small land-based towers, such as like snipers and tack shooters, but it's a fun overall, pretty straightforward map. It's fun to play with your friends since it splits it right down the middle, so one person has to use only water towers and one person can only use land towers. It's pretty fun, honestly, but it's not entirely difficult, so it goes into the normal difficulty. This map is called Ouch, and for very good reason. It features four separate tracks, crisscrossing to make a hashtag. The middle area features a water puddle, but if you don't want to put down water-based towers, you can actually empty it out and put down land towers. Make sure to not forget though, because if you put a water tower down in the puddle, you're not able to empty it out, so you have to sell everything beforehand. This is also considered one of the more difficult maps, mainly because of how quickly the balloons will be able to get by. There's no roundabouts, there's no loops, there's just a straight shot and the balloons will go right by. They don't care, they're just gonna zoom on by. Therefore, it goes into the insane difficulty. Park Path. I mean, what is there to say about this map? I've spent a lot of time on this map when I was trying to beat round 999. It features just a one long windy loop, which honestly seems like a wonderful time. The best towers to use on this map are short range towers that take advantage of sharp turns, such as tax shooters, ice monkeys, spike factories, glaive lords. Those types of towers are really good on this map. And it goes into the easy category. With Pat's Pond, it features one giant body of swamp water. It's kind of like something Shrek would live in, honestly. The balloons will spawn and then split up, going to the either top or bottom direction. So you need to be pretty precise in how you want to go about doing this. I highly recommend using submarines on this map, but you're allowed to do whatever you want. Obviously, it's your game. And it goes into the normal difficulty. Up next is Quad. Quad is an expert-based map, but it's definitely not as crazy as the others. It features a triangle-like shape where the balloons will spawn and have to go from one checkpoint over to the next, so they have to go around half of the map. While it does seem relatively difficult, it's definitely not as difficult as some of the absolutely crazy maps. You can also sell the gazebo to open up the map even more to put down more towers and monkeys. And there's also a cute little pond for you to put down water-based towers. It's definitely not an insane map, but I'll definitely put it in difficult. Like, it's teetering on insane and difficult. Like, it's right below insane and, like, like pretty difficult here i'll put it like here for, for difficult this fun japanese inspired map features two separate tracks so basically the balloons are coming from two separate directions but nearing the end of the track they kind of meet up next to each other so you're able to put down a bunch of towers that'll just be able to deal with them there it also features a statue that you'll be able to get rid of if you don't want it i'm gonna put it in normal difficulty vice islands i sure hope you guys like water-based maps because well there's a, there's a lot of water. That, that's, that's, it's, just, it's just a lot of water, guys. Basically, it features four very small islands. One with palm trees that you can cut down and remove if you want to. But basically, you're going to want Admiral Brickle and a lot of water-based towers. And because of that, well, it's probably just going to go into normal difficulty. It's not relatively easy, but if you use just water-based towers and Admiral Brickle, you'll be able to just absolutely destroy on this map. Spillway is a very toxic map. <laughs> Get it, guys? Because it's a bunch of toxic chemicals? Please like and subscribe to my channel, guys. I'm very lonely. It features four separate tracks where the balloons will come in and then rotate around this toxic barrel. You can't put a lot of monkeys on there. You can probably put maybe two tack shooters, but most you're going to be able to fit is one. It also features four red valves that you can open up. It costs money to do that, though. But by doing that, it'll allow you to have towers shoot into the area, which is what you're going to need to do. It's definitely a very difficult map, though, so we're going to put it up on the hard difficulty. This map, and I'm not kidding, this, this is the real name of it, is, um, it's called Spring Spring. Yeah, sp like, Spring Spring. Like, yeah, I, I get, yeah, I know, I... I didn't laugh either. Anyways, so the whole point of this map is that it's kind of like Pat's Pond, except the exact opposite. So it's exactly like it, but it's the exact opposite of it. And by that, I mean instead of having land 
it outside and water in the middle. It has water on the outside and land in the middle. And so the whole idea with it is you can put water-based towers as the balloons kind of go around the rocks in the pond and all that stuff. And then you have a whole bunch of towers kind of shoot at it from the outside. So it's like Pat's Pond, but not. It's like the opposite, but it's also the same. You know what I mean. Stream bed, in my mind, is essentially the same as Cracked where it just features one long, windy path with a dinosaur head in the middle. You can remove the dinosaur head if you want to, to allow your water-based towers to shoot up and be able to hit the balloons. But other than that, it's just a straightforward map. I think it's relatively easy, honestly. It's gonna go into the easy category. Town Center is the beginning tutorial map that everyone first plays on when they experience Balloons TD6. Honestly though, I think there's a lot of way easier maps to play on. I mean, there's a lot of things that kind of get in your way. You got the windmill and the buildings and the villages. There's a little bit of water to put on and the map isn't entirely that long. So while it is easy, I'm kind of teetering on putting on either normal easy. I'm going to put it on easy because if I put it on normal, people are going to flame me and I don't want that to happen. The next one, <laughs> the next one's called, <laughs> you're going to love it. It's called, it's called tree stump because, <laughs> because, <laughs> because there's a tree stump guys. <laughs> easy underground guys this map makes me angry just looking at it i spent so many hours on this map because i i did a challenge video but the idea with it is there's two separate tracks that they're railroad tracks and the balloons just go whoop and they go like little 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 whoop and they go whoop and then they, then they leave that's what they do whoop and then whoop and then they're gone right and so basically you have to put towers in the middle and all around and it's just it's a difficult map it's not like crazy to hard or difficult it's just i will put it in hard it's not like difficult, it's just hard. It's annoying. Winter Park is really fun. It features a lot of possibilities for different strategies. You can use pretty much any strategy and be able to win. It's definitely an easy map, but I like it just because one, it's just so aesthetically pleasing. Like, look at that. It's just, it's just perfectly symmetrical. And ooh, I just, I just love looking at this map, but it goes into the easy category, bro. Don't even get me started on this map, guys. This map workshop is is awful, okay? This map makes me angry, okay? So basically, the idea with this map is you got this, this, this conveyor belt, right? And so, by the way, the conveyor belt's moving forwards, right? So the conveyor belt's gonna be pushing the balloons at a faster speed. So if you want, you can click on this little thingamabobber right here, and it'll slow the balloons down. You also can click on this machine here, and it'll open up the conveyor belt, so the balloons have to go all the way around these separate little areas for the most part. So it makes it a little bit easier, but you can only click on them every so often, so you don't really want to base your strategy around that right you think that's about as difficult as it gets no it gets even worse you see this little blue the blue shoots with the, the cardboard boxes you're like oh yeah it's all easy we got this and then bam round 40 hits here comes a moab out of nowhere here i come and then you lose and you're like dang it and you have to restart so it's kind of like a gotcha map, right? It, like the whole point of this map is you definitely have to play it a couple of times to figure out what's going on. But once you figure it out, it's not that crazy. It's not an insane map. It's just, ah, uh, it, it goes into the difficult thing of a bobber. We have Lotus Island. Lotus Island is one of the new easy maps. It features, well, Lotus Island. It has this old building that you can put towers down. The map also features five lotus flowers that if you click on the flowers will stun the balloons. And then the bulbs kind of retract in themselves and it takes a little bit of time, but they'll come back out. It proves very useful to use on maps. And because of that, it goes on to the easy category. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications. This was my tier list, and remember, this is just my personal preference or my personal belief. If you think I'm wrong, well, it's too bad. You can leave. Thanks. Bye.